push. Play. So, what should I do today? There's no way I can just stay here and do nothing. I'm okay. Oh, yes, we definitely want her to be on our side. Uh, use your legs, thank you. Both of your legs. Okay. Shoot. Yeah, let's try. Let's see if this would be good for her. Something she'd want. Pika Pika? I see. I'm sure everyone believes that they don't want to fight, but... I guess you don't always get what you want. Well, what should I do? Should I hang out with Pico? Yeah, heck yeah! Then... I'm a little tired from the commotion during breakfast. Let's relax for a bit. I took a relaxing walk with Pico today. Ended up in the exact same spot. I think Pico and I grew a little closer. Would you like to give Pico a present? Definitely. I would like to give her... <clears throat> I would like to give her some eye drops for those ridiculously red eyes. JK, JK. Um, yes. What? Really? Oh no! No! No, you can't see me, but I'm shaking my fist in anger. What would you like to give her? Oh my gosh. Here, have some water. Dang it. I see. Are you giving this to me? Hmm. You're right. It might be useful for something. Hydration. It's useful for hydration. Many thanks. Fail. Such a fail. It's cool that we're hanging out, but... We're not really talking about anything. Hey, Pico. Do you like Kendo? Yes. <laughs> okay. Um. This conversation isn't progressing. You're just gonna have to ask better questions than yes or no questions. Unless... Nothing. No, no, no. No tangents. Um, is your house a kendo dojo? Sort of. Sort of? However. <clears throat> is there something wrong with that? N no, I was just wondering. Pico's stare is really intense. It might be best if I change the subject. Her eyes are always intense. Um, let's see. A topic that probably won't offend her so too much. Um. Ugh. Ah, I know. Pico, what level are you? Could it be? Are you talking about my kindle level? I don't have one. Huh? Dojo trainees typically earn levels corresponding to their years of training. However, I have no need for that. Why? Don't people normally aim for that kind of advancement? No. I have no such aim. My destination has already been decided. <clears throat> okay. Alright. Protect who I must protect. Cut who I must cut. That alone is the original purpose of the sword. Wielding a blade in its truest sense is my aim. And so... That is my reason for existing. To achieve that, I have no use whatsoever for meaningless levels determined by arbitrary rules. I see. Pico isn't just a typical kendo athlete. She truly is the ultimate swordswoman. How could I ask such a foolish question about levels? I don't really know much about kendo. But I think you're really cool. You're kind of like a samurai. What? <clears throat> really cool? Hmm. Really cool? You say such strange things. No one has ever said that to me before. Uh. Oh, uh, well. Thank. 
Never mind. She seems very awkward. Is she blushing? That is not suntan. However, because of the path I've chosen, there are things I've lost as well. Of course. You can't become the ultimate anything and not sacrifice something. Warm. Irreplaceable things. What did you lose? Fluffiness. Fluffiness? <laughs> yes. There are things that are warm, fluffy, and soft. The cat that came to visit the dojo, my childhood friend's dog, and even the finch I had as a pet. Why? But all animals can sense my menacing presence and run away from me. I just want to touch their soft fur and fluffy feathers to my heart's content. I s I see. That's really painful. I'm really surprised. I thought she was going to talk about an event from her past or something. Oh, then what about asking Gundam if you can touch his hamsters the next time you see him? He might be able to help you out. He probably knows a way to keep animals from running away from you. I see. You do have a point. Also, since his hamsters are called the Four Dark Devas of Destruction, yeah, they might be cool with you. <laughs> they might not get scared off of me. Uh, get oh, they might not get scared of me and run away. I think hamsters have. Oh no, not with that look though. Don't don't give. Oh my gosh, my. <laughs> don't look at them like that though. <laughs> they might not be okay with that. Don't hamsters have red or pink eyes, too? Or am I thinking of gerbils? I should look for Gundam right now. Yeah, her eyes look scary. I think Gundam's hamsters might actually freak out. Hey, Hajime. Thank you for your advice. If you'd like, please come talk to me again. Goodbye. Becca walked off in a hurry. She must be really desperate to touch something fluffy. But based on this, I feel like I was able to significantly, um, significantly close. <clears throat> but based on this, I feel like I was able to significantly close the distance between me and Peko. Next time, I might be able to talk to her normally. Hey, Peko's report card has been updated based on your experience with her. Fantastico. I decided to go back to my room for now. For now. Alright. It's still bright out. It's not like I feel like staying here and doing nothing. Maybe I should try going somewhere. Mm. Ah, dude. I wish... Yeah. Who else do I care about? It's Mickey Me. Hello. I have presents. Welcome to the world by the way. Do not assume that the world will just give you things. Tongue turned into a heart? That's awesome. Uh, tab, okay. Oh yeah, some blue ram. That'll get you leveled up real quick. I wonder if there's things that give more um, hearts. Here's some food. Right. And potato chips? I'm not supposed to give a kid sunflower seeds. Does it matter if it's a snake? Can baby snakes eat some? I'm sorry. Irrelevant. No. Oh, yes. Don't eat it. Don't eat the dolls. Oh. Oh. I guess I'll just keep it close to her heart forever. That's what was happening there. I'll give you sunflower seeds. I have two. They had to wash down the doll you just ate. Have some of that. And that's all right. 
and we're trying to fill up and Ramune. No, water. There you go. Luckily, all these things only cost like one and two coins. Be hopeful. Stay hopeful, please. Moving on. What are you just doing standing on the road? Are you going to the bark? Are you lost? Aww. Oh, you're getting all sleepy from boredom. Oh, ugh, I don't want to hang out with you. Crap! That means my character is going to overlap Chiaki's. Isn't that bad? What should I do? Should I hang out with Buki? Uh. Hmm. Okay, fine. Ah, uh, that's it's okay. This is going nowhere. I sure am sleepy though. Do you think I'll wake up if I drink coffee? I spent time today drinking coffee with the Buki. It feels like the Buki and I grew a little closer. Would you like to give a Buki a present? Yeah, let's give her some blue ram. What would you like to give her? This. Anti-energy? Um, I don't even know how to react to this. I'll save it for a cooling off period. Hajime! Yes, yes! What? Meow! Jeez, hurry. Hurry up and choose me! What? Um, what? <laughs> hey, hey! Were you ever in any school clubs? School clubs, huh? I can't say for sure because of what happened to our memories, but I probably wasn't in any clubs. I was... Um... I was on... What club was that? Oh, theater. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Go figure. But I... Probably wasn't in any clubs. <laughs> That's a major bingo. What is? <sighs> well, isn't it obvious? You should be part of Ibuki's music club from now on. For a while, everyone thought music clubs were outdated because the rock and roll boom was dying off. That's totally it! But now, music clubs are super popular with boys for some reason. We should jump on that bag. We should jump on the bandwagon too. But I'm not really into music. <laughs> no problem. You can just pretend you're playing an instrument while a music track plays in the background. Yeah, bro. Fake it till you make it. That's not something the ultimate musician should say. But even if I'm pretending, I've never even held a musical instrument. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone starts at that point. As long as you feel the love, there's no problem. What do I have to do if I don't really feel the love? Aww. <laughs> it's okay! Jamming out is so much fun! You'll be so popular with the ladies, chicks go out with guys who pretend to be musicians all the time. Hajime! By the way, Ibuki thinks guys who don't like bands are narcissists, so she doesn't like them. That isn't something the ultimate musician should say either. Meow. Yep, yep. Now choose the musical instrument you want to use. Guitar! <laughs> ah, Buki has dibs in the guitar, so you can't use that. Looks like I've been roped into her scheme. I guess I really have no... I guess I really have to choose something. I've never played any type of instrument before, so it doesn't really matter. Um, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm getting uh, South Park flashbacks. I'm really wanting to choose the bass guitar. <laughs> um, hmm. I really kind of want to try the drums, too. Yeah, let's do drums. Then I guess the drums. Good job! That's awesome. All right, it's decided. Drums are great, because you can just hit them to the beat. And you don't even need to know how to read music. 
<laughs> as long as you can move your arms and legs independently of each other, even a novice can play them real easy. Every drummer in the world would hate you for saying that. <laughs> I see, I see. Now that we've decided on an instrument, <clears throat> let's start with learning how to use a loudspeaker. Why? Why do we need that? Don't we have microphones? Hold on a second. Why would you need a loudspeaker? Huh? What are you saying? It's a must-have item for live performances. <laughs> it doesn't mean you just <laughs> hold it and scream into it. If you don't put your soul into it, the loudspeaker won't respond to you. <laughs> put your soul into it. Shout. Shout. I was forced to do some weird training that didn't make any sense to me at all. I didn't really, I didn't really understand the bookie to begin with, but with this, I don't understand her even more. Bookie's report card has been updated based on your experience with her. When I leveled up, I parted ways with the bookie and went back to my room, feeling exhausted. Dark. <sighs> Yikes. What a way to spend day two. 